and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. It's pretty foggy today and I think we're supposed to get freezing rain again. Yahoo! But uh, for now let's go inside and see what's going on in here. So here we start our day with Jerry. Hi buddy. Oh and we got a little follower. Had to come see what the excitement was about. So today we're gonna, of course, look at all the lambs and the jugs and see how everybody's doing. Um, that's what you're gonna be seeing a lot of for the next three months while we do lambing, but it's uh, an extremely important part of our day. Um, we don't like losses. We've been doing this for over 20 years, but still every loss uh, we take personally. So. Uh, we're constantly uh, monitoring our sheep to try and make sure that everyone has a good fighting chance. And I'm also going to discuss today um, how our farm um, may be a little bit different from all the other farms uh, you see online on YouTube. Um, as you all know, um, our focus is 100% on these sheep. Um, we're raising breeding stock, um, pets for people's farms, uh, rams that will be used as uh, flock improvers on other people's farms, and the meat market is just a nasty reality that we have to face because uh, uh, you unfortunately can't sell every ram, although we, we try to sell as many good ones as we can. Okay, here's the little lamb we gave the shot to yesterday. And uh, so with drugs, even though he looks like he's doing a little bit better now, uh, you do have to follow through because we don't want to have the immunity thing happen. We want our drugs to work properly when we have to use them, so. Excuse me, he's full. He's got, he's he's got poop. Yep. Hey, buddy. So, uh, he, 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 he was, not he, they're not rasping? No, they're not. Good. Oh, and he's having a poop again. Yeah. He's having his poop, see? So, um. Not that I want to touch it. <laughs> he's, well, it should be pulled off that, oh, it dropped off. I'm not a baby machine, huh? So that yellow poop is a sign that he's gotten colostrum. It's uh, not a sign of illness. It's actually a sign you want to see that. Um, sometimes it's like glue and it sticks to their bum and you have to uh, pull it off so that he can poop properly. But this is the mom who didn't, it's not that she didn't like him, she was just afraid. So uh, as you can see, she's uh, she loves him now and uh, They'll be going out into the pen shortly, I'm confident. Okay, and this is the lamb we had last night. So, yeah, our focus uh, with the sheep is on trying to produce the best uh, lambs possible um, to benefit us in our future growth and to benefit uh, our buyers so that we have uh, really high quality animals. Um, it's not about shipping them off to market. Hey, you're very oh, pretty. Good stretch. Good stretch. Hey, mom. And what's this, a boy or girl? Female. Another girl. That's you guys nice are catching you. up. Yeah. And see when you handle sheep. I, I still laugh that everyone told us uh, to stay away from Suffolk's because they're wild sheep and they're not good mothers. To be honest, they're extremely good mothers. They have, um, they're known for having lots of milk. Arnie? What? I wanted to see if this lamb come out of that sheep. That sheep was in there one time. Yeah, I think so, Arnie. I'm pretty sure when, when it pops out the back, it was in there. Hey, you're very, very pretty. I see that. But uh, they're very quiet. Oh, and uh, I don't know if you saw that one. Take that towel out. 
that guy over there, or girl, it's another girl, was uh, hopping around. I, when I'm walking through the jugs, two things I'm looking for. One, they're, they're up and nursing, and two, they're hopping around the pen. So I see, saw this one hopping today. This little white guy's hopping today. These two pens are gonna get tagged and ready to go out today, because they're ready. And you're gonna stay here in here a little while. But um, in general, our sheep are really quiet and easy to work with. It's, uh, it's nice and I, I think it is how you treat them and how you handle them. Hi, you're very nice. You're very pretty. So um, yeah, so our, our goal here is not to produce as many lambs as possible for market. Um, which is a meat-based industry. That's what they're looking for. We are happier with singles and stuff because um, we're trying to produce mothers and flock sires. And some people think that the, having lots of them will pass on, but seriously, I've done this for 22 years and have kept back everything from singles to quads and mixed and match them and I don't see any correlation. You're, I find that you're getting multiples based on the breed of your sheep, the age of your sheep, the time of year uh, you're lambing, and how well that sheep is fed. So um, Suffolk's are generally twinners and because we feed them well and breed them at the proper time of year that's basically what we get for them. Dorsets in general were breeding uh, more out of season in the fall, um, so they have more singles because of that. As we get into the uh, white ones lambing, this guy's a single, but um, I'm pretty certain you're going to see more twins coming out of these girls because now they're in season. Now, that being said, we have 40 first timers coming in, and a first timer will tend to have less lambs too. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, that's what's different between the breeding stock people and uh, people producing lambs for meat. Um, and we're confinement to a, p a point, but um, we also like them to go outside and uh, run around and get the vitamin D from the sunshine and graze off grass and know how to be sheep. So um, we're we're probably a multi multi-functional farm in that we have confinement and pasture sheep so they have the option to do whatever they choose to do. In the summer our barn doors are left open, so if they want to go out they can. If they wanna stay in the barn they can. In the winter of course uh, most of them are indoors just because uh, of our weather conditions. So, more playing time on it. Hi, buddy. You're very nice. You're very pretty. And you're on Facebook. You are because you have a fluffy face. I think mom's upset. Okay, so these three are doing good. This one had, this one's lamb had a shot. This is the one who absorbed a lamb. Her lambs, they're in the bigger pen still, but her lambs have found this little nook and they both cuddle in there. But um, I'm thinking we should let these two out and play. Don't you? Yeah, See how that works, but keep your eye on it. Because I want to let uh, two, two of the sheep out today. The white one that you were just holding and those probably those twins. And this mommy, she had the twin dorsets. Now the, her lambs are on either side, but again, they're, they're under those feeders. They really like that. So even though we're sheep farmers, and all sheep farmers are basically doing the same thing. I mean, we all have sheep, but we are uh, focusing on breeding stock, registered sheep, indoor, outdoor, 
So in this pen, as you can see, we fed them and we got two ewes. They're chewing their cuts. So I don't think anyone's gonna lamb here right away, but could be these two girls are uh, just a little close with lamb and just not feeling like eating. And you see, she's gonna sit up and ease some of that pressure on her belly. Are you gonna have a lammy soon? I think you should. So we got two potentials in there. Oh, and Arnie's back there. Maybe we're having a lamb as we speak. Arnie likes to go in and help all the time. They say uh, we're hover, I'm a hover mom, which I am, but he's definitely a hover dad. a lamb out if you do have to do that you make sure that you watch her stomach and that she's actually contracting at the same time because you you don't want to rip her or cause a prolapse so you got to work with her to help her and see how I talked about the uh, mouths he, he's still wet but we wiped his nose and uh, his mouth so that he wouldn't inhale any fluid. Is it a boy or a girl? Turn on it. Lift up his legs. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a boy. A boy! Again! Again. Okay, so I'm gonna let mommy see this. Yeah, there, see it there? Because she has number one right there. There you go, sweetheart. You can pull the whole thing ahead there a little bit. There we go. Oh. There we go, mommy. You're so nice. So nice. She's been working at it all morning, so I But I think it's right in time. That's a nice slammy you got there. And you can have another one. It's okay. So, we got a cat, Scotty here, too, who has to join in. A whole family We there. have Katie over here. Um, Abigail, who's in my replacement group, who's uh, who I set aside as a, a keeper or mentor for the replacement ewe lambs, the old girl, she used to do that too. Every lambing, she'd come and stand and watch, not to steal, just just uh, a really nice ewe. But she's been struggling just for the last couple of hours, or an hour, any hour and a half. I thought something was wrong, but uh, this lamb wants to get fed already. Um, check her nipples while we're here so we can show how, how that goes. Lots of milk. Good teeth. So, so when you tuck on the nipple sometimes, well, you can see the milk come out of that one, but sometimes there's a little pressure when you tuck on it and um, they have a little, uh, little waxy plug at the end of their teeth which stops bacteria from getting into them. Rid of that lamb. What's it doing in there? He just can't wait. Ar Arnie, Arnie always says, just let her do her thing, and then there he is. You don't need help, do you, sweetheart? I just want to see if it's in the right position. And there's the head, but only one foot I can. But as soon as these lambs are done, we'll go set up a jug for her and bring her out there. You're on your own, hon. Do you want to videotape it? One man team. Do you want to videotape it? <laughs> Well, if I could do that, I wouldn't need you. <laughs> he has a flip phone. Uh, see you. if you. Oh, that one, you couldn't see too much, but if you put that that towel on his legs as you're pulling, see this is like slime. It's so slippery. Oop, female. A boy and a girl. Oh, oh sorry oh. about that. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like flat little mushy things I when want, they're born. I wanted to look at that new one first. Oh, put it, put the this under so that the umbilical cord doesn't get dirty. There we go. There you go. Ah. She has a boy and a girl, so the girls are catching up slowly to the boys. She's a registered ewe, because I saw she had a tattoo. It was a G, so this will be her second lambing. Not a third. Is there? 
I don't want any bottle babies. Oh, honey, I don't want bottle babies. Yeah. Could be a thing. Not a bubble there. It's back. It's gonna be way okay. back here. Well, do you want to wipe them down a little bit yeah, so they warm up? Get them in. I, I want her to do her job, but you can wipe them But it's on. but it's cold. Yeah, I know, but you want her to. She's not. She's not not gonna take her lamb. Okay. Well, I'll get you ready. So uh, we'll just let her lick these off. I'll continue finishing with Byron, and then we'll get her in the jug. She's got milk. They're healthy. She may have a third. I really hope not. So many people want the third, but I really don't want a third. And it's true. A mother can feed uh, three lambs if she's got uh, good milk. But the problem arises not when they're this age, but when they get like um, bigger. So you'll have, um, 40 pound, 50 pound lambs, uh, banging at her three all at once. So what, what tends to happen with a lot of, uh, triplets is they'll learn to hang on. So the two that get to the nipple first will hang on. And the third one either doesn't get a go that time or, or will knock one of the other ones off but in the meantime what's happening to mom is because they're trying to hang on to that nipple oftentimes the nipple will get bitten and scarred and chewed on and it's just not a good situation so um, that's generally generally why we would uh, usually top up the lamb so that uh, there's not that mad rush to get at the nipple and uh, or take take one of them off or foster one to a single mom um, we've had a lot of success with fostering lambs on but you have to have a mom that just lamb so um, once we get going heavier into lambing when we've got a whole bunch going at once it's much easier because uh, they basically have to be lambing at the same time. So if even a Dorset was lambing right now and she had a single and this one did pop out a triplet, I would immediately stick that one with the single and my chances of success with that are pretty high. So we just tagged a few of the Dorsets. We tagged the single ram lamb in the other pen with the fuzzy ears. Now we're doing the triplets. This is a little female. She's extremely cute. She's got her tag. And uh, she's going to get her mark on her and she's going to be released. There you go. You look very pretty. You look very pretty. Jezebel and Jerry. So last night the boys were all locked up in their uh, catch pen and uh, so this is Honey. He's never been in with this group of rams now but he's settled down. Hi Honey. This is Felon. He's our guy. Actually, no that's Geronimo. And here's General who was so upset the other day. You've been fighting a little bit I see. I see you've been fighting a little, but you're feeling a lot better than yesterday when you were when you were all alone. Yeah, you're feeling a lot better now. So uh, they've all calmed down. They're all together. Nobody's fighting. Um, just box them up when you reintroduce a, a ram all the time, and uh, you'll never have dead rams from fighting anyway. Look at that cat over there. There's Scotty. I just finished tagging the sheep I'm going to do today. 
I tagged these uh, really, really nice ULMs that are so far my absolute favorite in the group. But it's early days, folks. And uh, I recorded her and got her number on her back and stuff, but that's the one that was born last night. This little guy's tagged. He's going to go out next, uh, probably around lunchtime. I skipped tagging this one even though she was due to be tagged today. This is the one where the lamb was a little raspy and is on drugs. Just because he's a little under the weather, I'm going to just hold off a day on him. And we tag these uh, dorsets here that are technically triplets. They're going to go out <coughs> time. And we recorded this mommy who just had her lambs. They fed, they're fed, they're uh, laying down. Got them in a blanket because it's cold. Um, she hasn't passed her placenta or anything yet. Uh, but I don't see her doing anything, so I'm going to go to the coverall and assume she doesn't have uh, a third lamb. She's not acting like she's got a third lamb. But we'll be back shortly to check just in case. I forgot to mention that uh, another different thing about uh, when you're raising breeding stock, um, this record keeping thing is extremely important. Um, so when I'm recording all these lambs and stuff, it's critical that I get um, the ewes matched up with the right ram so that I know exactly who uh, the fathers are. For, because they are going to be registered, um, which means we put papers on them. And uh, in Canada, they do random testing to make sure that your sheep do match up with the right parents. We actually were random tested last year uh, for one of our Dorset lambs. So that means, I think we showed that on a video of that, where we had to get a vet in and he does a blood sample on the dad and the mom and the baby just to make sure um that we're all staying honest so that's another thing that uh the the uh commercial breeders or the ones doing meat um don't need to be concerned about being checked up on if they make a mistake on the parentage it's not a huge deal um so there's a little more involved in breeding stock Today we're vaccinating the last hundred ewes. Uh, these are the, they're due to go in February. So we just finished General's group and right now we're gonna pull out Snappy's group. Come on, Max, here you go. Good boy, Katie, Katie, good girl, come back. Come on. So these guys will be going through the chutes. Again, we just shift everybody around. The ram lambs are at the back for a second while we do this. The replacement ewes are in the runway having a mad half hour out there running back and forth. And these guys are gonna come through. Into the, the sorting chute. The good thing about adults is they pretty well know the routine. So this is the last of them. This is Hannibal's group. They just got done. Now all this group is going to go on one side of the barn. And that frees up the whole other side for... Come on, Ben. For the Dorset ewes that we're gonna sort tomorrow and wean the ewe lambs off. Okay, we're gonna call that another episode at Utopia Farms as I hand the dirty towels to Arnie to bring in so I can do the laundry. We're gonna close the door on another day and happy New Year to all the people who already are celebrating New Year's in Australia and New Zealand. Um, New Year's for us is 
tonight, New Year's Eve. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.